Hey guys, welcome back to Buddy RC. I'm Clay, and today we are going to be talking about helicopter mechanical setup. Um, now, this is one of the most important things when it comes down to helicopters because your helicopter could be drifting one way or another and not be very stable. So these are things to look at to see why your helicopter is doing what it's doing. You could have your blade tracking off, um, but uh, we'll, we'll jump into it here and we'll talk about the few things that can make a helicopter make or break. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is go ahead and get your helicopter, your radio, your battery. Um, you're gonna want a pitch gauge for this. Um, we got one here. You're gonna want a set of calipers. Now you can go to Walmart and buy this one. I think it was 10 bucks. It's really not that much. Um, nice and cheap calipers. A set of needle nose pliers also helps uh, when you move the links. Or if you have them, a turnbuckle wrench works great to turn the turnbuckles on the head and or swash plate. Um, and then also you're gonna want your phone if you have the Bluetooth um, on an icon or something like that or whichever fly ballless unit you have, um, have it connected to the PC or whatever um, because there is swash leveling in there. So first we're gonna take the canopy off. So set your canopy aside um, and then we're gonna go over to the motor before we plug anything in. We're gonna go straight to the motor and unplug it. This is one thing I absolutely love about this helicopter is the motor wires can just unplug. Always unplug your motor if you're gonna be working on it on the bench. You don't want these blades to spin up at all. Um, so if you unplug the motor, you'll never have to worry about it and you can use your pitch. You don't have to worry if you're in throttle hold or not. All right, so what I had, went ahead and did before I do anything on this helicopter, you wanna go ahead and unplug the motor before you even plug it in. Um, I have the icon actually already set up, so this is gonna be already set up, so I can't really show much about the full setup, um, but I will show you how to do the servo centering. So make sure you have your swash plate selected correctly. Um, so this is a 120 degree uh, swash plate. So you have that set up, and then you're gonna go to this screen right here. So on this screen right here, you have your servos and they are labeled as, uh, this is the helicopter facing forwards. So servo two is gonna be your elevator servo. Servo one is gonna be your right aileron servo. Servo three is gonna be your left aileron servo. So you go through and you go plus or minus on these to center the servo. And they're very fine adjustments. Um, so you get the servos centered, make sure everything is centered correctly electronically first. Um, so say we have everything set up and it has a little bit of pitch. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down or up on these depending on how much pitch they have. So a way you can check that is you wanna make sure everything is centered 90 degrees on all the servos. Then you wanna fold your blades and then you'll be able to tell if you have negative or positive pitch. So right now we are looking good. So the cool part about this is it shows a very exaggerated version of the pitch. So you can tell if you have zero pitch. So right now we're sitting at zero and we have zero pitch. Now that we have this all set up in the computer, we're gonna go in mechanically and set it up. Um, now this is just to center the servos. I was plugging it in. This is not gonna be setting up the whole fly this unit. So what we'll do first is make sure all of these are the same length. Each one of the servo turnbuckles are the same length and it looks like we have zero pitch according to the hash marks on the top of the head. And actually we can tell that by seeing the hash marks around the zero point, which is the center point. So the head block has a little hash mark on it and the blade grip has three on it. You wanna be in the center of that perfectly on both or your tracking could be out or you could be positive or negative on your pitch. So that's a way to do it without a pitch gauge, which is really, really helpful i'm very glad they did that um, all of our servos look to be level so now what we're going to do is start using our pitch gauge the easiest thing to do is take the pitch gauge turn it on and do not zero it here because the model could be leaning one way or another so you actually use where the motor is mounted as your zero so as you can see i use that for my zero right there. So I just move the motor wires out of the way and use that block that the motor is mounted to to zero in. So what we're gonna do is then we're gonna put it on the blade and we're gonna go make sure we're at center stick, which is zero pitch. We're at zero pitch on the model mechanically and we're at zero pitch in the radio. I always check both blades just to make sure everything is at zero. So we'll 
flip it around here. So as you can see, we're at zero pitch on the other blade now. So that tells us that both blades are completely flat at zero pitch. Now let's say if you have a blade that has a degree or two more than the other blade at zero percent. So everything here is set up mechanically. Every single one of these servo linkages are the same length um, and your servo is at zero, I'm sorry, at completely center on every single one of them, then that means that one of these are off. If you have a little bit more pitch or a little less pitch than the other one. So what you're gonna wanna do is you'll take a pair of pliers and you'll turn them one way or the other to get more or less pitch out of that blade. You wanna get them as close to zero as possible. If one is like 0 0.01, it's fine. Um, it's, it's not gonna be perfect, but you can always try and get it as close to perfect as you can. So hopefully this video helped you guys uh, get the mechanical setup of your helicopter down because this is a big deal. Um, if anything's off, your helicopter can fly a little wonky. Like if you have more pitch on one than the other, it could do some weird things like have, no, uh, have bad tracking of the blades, which means you'll be looking at the model while you're hovering and you see two separate blades instead of just one disc. You see one disc with a little bit off on top of it, or you might get some weird vibrations because it's giving pitch on one and none on the other. So this setup actually applies to a lot of different helicopters. So you can always use this with any other helicopter that has a fly bonus unit, such as like the M2. Uh, it should be pretty well set up out of the box and most of the links, when you buy them, they come together. So you don't have to worry about doing this kind of setup. But if you're having weird problems and you can't figure it out, maybe look into the setup of the helicopter. It could be the helicopter. So if you have any questions, comment down below. Um, and uh, if you want to see more helicopter setup stuff like this, comment down below, let us know. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, hit that bell notification, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys.